Hello everyone, Creighton here from Short Sun Studios. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how I paint my splinter camouflage for my German here, my World War II German Army for 28 millimeter. Step one, go ahead and begin by base coating the camouflage with a one-to-one -one mix of Vallejo's German camouflage beige as well as with leather brown. Step two, Highlight the area that you're camouflaging with the German camouflage beige. Uh, if you're in a hurry, you can use a dry brush method, or if you want to take your time, you can do more of a straight line method. For the examples here, I'm using the straight line method versus the dry brush method. Step three, we're going to start our camouflage with a one-to-one -one mix of German camouflage medium brown mixed with black. For the brown lines here, you want them to kind of be angled or zigzaggy or with a lightning bolt pattern, kind of breaking up the beige pattern that we have so far. Step four, mix a one-to-one -one ratio of Luftwaffe camouflage green with black, and then we're going to apply that mix over the brown lines that we did in the previous step. For these ones, I like to go for triangular-ish blobs, um, ultimately as long as they're kind of amoeba or not overly symmetrical, you're going to be getting the right appearance. For the green blobs, I like to lay them at intersections of the brown lines or tuck them with the brown lines going around them, um, kind of hugging the green. Step five. We're going to go back and highlight the brown and green that we just added with uh, German camouflage medium brown for the brown and the Luftwaffe camo green. Ideally, you want to paint it within the lines of the dark brown and the dark green we did in steps three and four. Um, that way, you'll be able to accent the stripe itself. Step six, apply a wash of Citadel Seraphim Sepia and let that dry. This is going to soak into some of the cracks and help to accent the multiple dimensions of the model to kind of create more of a 3D effect. Step seven, once the Seraphim Sepia has dried, go ahead and take your German camouflage beige back out and you're just going to highlight some of the raised edges of the German camouflage beige that we already hit with the Seraphim Sepia. And this is, again, going to help to bring out some of the raised edges and give it more of a dynamic look to it. After that, you should be about done with the camouflage. Go ahead and finish painting the other details of your model. Go ahead and get that bad boy based and get it on the table. Hopefully, the tutorial can be put to good use. Um, try not to use it for evil. And happy painting and happy gaming. This is Creighton from Short Sun Studios. Until next time, see you.